guys, it's Taylor from Coffee and Bible Time. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. And today I'm going to be talking about what I learned from my first missions trip. So the first thing that really stood out to me when I was on the missions trip that I was not expecting was that the devil is going to do everything in his power to stop the Lord's work from happening. I'm just going to give you a couple examples of things that happened on the missions trip that were like threats from the devil, I guess you could say. I didn't have my testimony with me. In the end, I knew that it was the devil's mission to stop me from giving my testimony to the people. I went out there and I said my testimony from my heart and I think that that was ultimately God's plan because it really flowed nicely and I just had a lot to say to the teens and I felt like I was really giving from my heart. Next few things were also a, the devil trying to distract me. There was a really cute boy that I liked on the missions trip and it would have been so easy for me to consume all my thoughts on him instead of the Lord but um, luckily the Holy Spirit was telling me to focus on the missions trip and not on love relationships so I avoided that one it was hard but I did it the next thing was there was a huge storm I mean like there was lightning surrounding us and we were outside and my friend was giving her testimony and this storm could have been the most distracting thing for these kids and that was the devil trying to get the kids not to listen to what we had to say and all of the leaders were looking around at these kids and we were in our heads we were praying for them that God would focus their minds on the message and not on the storm. And the last thing that the devil tried to do to get me down was that I had a fever for three days on my missions trip and I was so sick. That was the devil trying to bring me down, trying to make me feel like this missions trip was a mistake. I should have just stayed home if I was gonna be sick. But no, I still accomplished God's work even though I was sick. I stayed faithful and I relied on God through all of those things that the devil tried to get me down with. The second thing that I learned on the missions trip that I wasn't expecting was that you grow closer to the people around you and you make new friends. I personally felt like my freshman and sophomore year of high school I didn't have a lot of friends in the church, um, but through this missions trip I made so many good and close friendships and God just really blessed me with that. The third thing that I learned was that with the help of God you can overcome trials and some of them I listed before like I was sick um, but other trials that not trials but other things that I didn't know that I could co overcome I did like I have a fear of this is gonna sound really weird, but I have a fear of talking to other teenagers. Um, and it was really hard for me to be working with the teens at first, but God just really helped me overcome my fear. And I was able to bond with a lot of the teens and I was able to be with them without being afraid because I had God with me and I knew that this missions trip was for his purpose and he had a purpose for me and he had a reason for me to be there. Another thing that God helped me know that I was stronger was is like I said one morning I was just crying and I was bitter and I didn't want to let something go um, but God helped me with his word that morning, the devotional particularly spoke to me and that was just so powerful. And also I had so many friends come up to me that I made through the missions trip um, that were there to support me. And it was just like a flood of love and it was just really a t testimony to me. My gosh, 
I'm not crying. It was just really a testimony to me to see all these people come to me and just see the love of God firsthand. And the main thing that I took away from this mission trip is that serving others is so much more rewarding than trying to please yourself all the time. I would know because I am the most selfish person. I am the last person to offer to help and I am just so selfish in wanting my time to myself. Um, but this missions trip, I just never felt happier and more fulfilled than doing God's work and serving others and it just felt really good to be a light for kids and for teens that maybe don't grow up in Christian homes and definitely have a harder life than most of us do. If you guys have ever been on a missions trip, please comment them down below. I'd love to hear about your trip and thank you guys so much for watching. Bye!